Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina and talk about them here on our weblog. Also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. We've returned to one of our favorite breweries today for our samples and we are very seasonal in that we are today drinking the Santa's Secret, which is the Christmas ale out of the Carolina Brewery in Chapel and Pittsburgh. Carolina Brewery is a locally owned brewery and restaurant has drawn international attention to the handcrafted beers, all beer is brewed in-house by the Director of Brewing Operations, John Conley, and his team. They were founded first in Chapel Hill in 1995, and they are the fifth oldest brewery in North Carolina. The second brew pub, Carolina Brewery and Grill, opened in Pittsburgh in 2007. They greatly expanded the company's brewing and wholesale sales capacity, and they've got great food at yep. both locations. Uh, within the last few years, Carolina Brewery has expanded the wholesale operations and now services accounts across North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, as well as parts of Tennessee and the Southeast Virginia. So wow. they are expanding and expanding. Big area. Of the Santa Secret, they say, our winter holiday brew boosts a combination of six different malts working together to produce a rich beer with a soft, creamy mouthfeel without revealing all of Santa's secrets. We can say that this tasty ale contains a careful blend of coriander, cinnamon, orange and allspice oh. we think you'll agree this is them talking not us we think <laughs> you'll agree it's the closest thing to christmas in a glass they filled this sucker off <laughs> there's no air no 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 way up there and this uh santa secret comes in at an abv of 5.9 not the color i was expecting you thought it'd be a christmas dark something that's right a christmas dark something right yeah something something um Carolina Brewery doesn't actually classify the beer it's style on its website. I uh, don't know that it does in the bottle. Uh, the Beer Advocate website classifies it as a winter warmer. Um, well, just well, what's ABV? 5.9. Uh, yeah, so it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not it's really warm. It don't warm you up for so much. <laughs> you might need a fire to go along with it. Look Beautiful at head. Look at the head on that. Nice lacing. lacing. Very well, it's a little, hmm. little not clear, a little unclear. A little not clear. A little not clear. I was thinking it was clear from my little angle. Uh, so it's uh, got some stuff going I'm on to, here. I ain't smelling nothing. No real aroma? No. But all that coriander and cinnamon no, and no. orange and allspice? I smell like a bunch of nothing. <laughs> Maybe your crystal snogging is off. You're sick? Here you go. But you know, I don't get a lot of aroma either. Yeah, so it's going to be flavorful. Well, let's see how flavorful it is. Oh, wow. Okay, the orange comes through. <laughs> it actually is very flavorful. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm surprised the orange like, wow! It's very uh, carbonated, very prickly feeling. Uh, there is the citrus, whether it's Ooh. orange or something else. It, it, it's got orange. It seems to be orange, highly orange. Uh, we had this last year, we didn't review it, but we drank it last Christmas, and I don't remember it being quite this uh, citrusy, yeah. orangey. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm getting some of the coriander. I don't get a lot of the cinnamon allspice. It's not overly spiced like a Christmas, no. some Christmas ales are. Oh yeah, they just like, I mean, it's kind of like the, the uh, pumpkin ales, where they just throw mm. in allspice, nutmeg, and all that stuff. I'm not getting a lot of spice. I mean, the orange is really, and I, this is not a complaint. I really like it, <laughs> but it's, um, mm -hmm. I like the flavor. I mean, orange around this time, it's kind of like those, um, uh, even though it's not chocolate in here, but it kind of just reminds me of the smack things, those chocolate orange things that you smack. Yeah, for, the, I mean, for the oranginess, right? Yeah, the, uh, the amount of orange. Yep. This is very good beer, and it is not what I expected at all, I'll just tell you. I thought, like that, <laughs> I thought it might be darker yeah. on presentation. Um, and with the description of the coriander and the cinnamon and the allspice particularly, I just, I don't get those to the degree I thought I might. Right. I, I, I get like Dave, I like the beer. It's just not what I thought it might be. Right, so. yep. 
uh, probably still bomber worthy for me. Yeah. It's uh, just different than I thought it'd be. No, I mean, uh, difference is good. Uh, it's it's bomber, definitely I think bomber. You can settle in and drink, yeah. Oh, yeah, we sure. can settle in for that so it'd get real warm at that point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Warm up. Um, if you've not had a chance to visit with the folks at Carolina Brewery, I know you may have had their beer around. Go to Chapel Hill, Pittsburgh. They're a great host. And again, as we said, the food selections are great. Yep. A uh, uh, little standard above the typical bar food. Oh, definitely. They work, very, they work very hard to do the presentation. And yep. The food's great and the hospitality's good. Yep. And uh, in Chapel Hill and Carborough, I mean, in Pittsburgh and Chapel Hill, they both have very, very good uh, atmosphere and it's just a great place to visit. So if you're looking yep. for a place that brews their own beer and knows beer and knows food and knows what to do with it, all one shot. Check out either one of those places. Yep. Uh, as always, I know the people at the brewery would like to hear what you think of their beer. Try some of their standards, and they've got some excellent standards. And if you get a chance, pick up the Santa right. Secret. Yep. There'll be some around probably. It's not all that limited. It's seasonal, but it's not all that limited. Still so want to get your hands on it, though. After Christmas, you can drink Santa's Secret still. Mm -hmm. uh, as always, we like to hear what you, we, you think of what we're doing. And remember, until next time, drink local. And keep your beer dogs in North Carolina, and we'll catch you later, guys.